How's it going everybody, welcome back to another video. This time we'll be taking a look at the SH figure art, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Um, so yeah, go in the box first. Now this figure here, I had to go to multiple stores to try and find. Uh, these sold out everywhere here in Japan. Uh, but luckily I'd find one, eventually. So yeah, there's the front of the box. There's the side, maybe I should bring the camera back a bit so I can actually fit this into frame. But yeah, yeah, oh well. But yeah, there's the side of the box, the back, shows the figure a bit more. The side, uh, nothing much at the top or the bottom. Um, so yeah, I've actually stopped collecting the Dragon Ball SH Figure Arts line, but I decided to pick this one up because uh, I've actually been wanting a Super Saiyan 4 Goku SH Figure Arts for many years, as they have um, released a prototype image like many, many years ago uh, of the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, but they never released it. So yeah, it's good they finally uh, released a Goku in the Super Saiyan 4. Because, uh, yeah, you know, it's a fan favorite form, so, uh, kind of baffles me as to how it took so long to get a figure of him. But, yeah, uh, overall, pain sculpt of this guy is very nicely done. Um, I'm very happy with how the faces came out, as, uh, it's very anime accurate, in my opinion, and doesn't look very weird like the, uh, full power Super Saiyan Goku that was released recently. Uh, as that figure's face was just terrible, in my opinion. But, yeah, in my opinion, all the faces that come with this figure look very nice. And it's a brand new sculpt as well. Uh, there's no reused parts on this figure, which is great. But, yeah, does have all the uh, nice paint detailing on the face. Got the uh, red eyeliner, which looks, yeah, cool. Um, but, yeah, I do have a couple of issues with my figure, which I'll get into, I guess, in the articulation segment, as it's all based on the articulation of this figure. But yeah, the hair is also very s nicely sculpted. Uh, much better than the figure eyes Super Saiyan 4 Goku, in my opinion, which was the other figure I had of him. Uh, I didn't like the hair sculpt on that figure eyes one, so yeah, very happy with how this one turned out. And it is broken up to separate uh, sections, like the main hair piece and then these two Hair pieces do rotate so they don't get in the way of the articulation. So you know you can move these in if you want to have them, have them uh, looking sideways. And yeah, but uh, that's that's the articulation. So I'll get into that later. Um, but yeah, this bottom hair piece is also a separate piece. So that's cool. But yeah, um, my head is a little bit loose, not as tight as I'd like it to be. So I do need to go around and um, tighten up some of the joints. So yeah, that's a bit of a shame as that should not be a problem when you get these figures. So a bit of a QC issue with my one, but not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, down to the body, brand new sculpt. It's a very bright red, which is nice. And there's the back. And then here's uh, yellow pants, which I always thought that was an odd choice to go with yellow pants. Um, but yeah. Well, it's kind of a mustard yellow, but uh, yeah, still a weird choice. <laughs> so, yeah, brand new shoes as well, looks pretty good. So yeah, and then the tail as well, which you do need to pop in to the ass uh, when you get this figure. It's a separate piece, but yeah, not, no issues uh, pegging that in. So uh, yeah, uh, I guess I'll go over the... Yeah, I guess I'll go over the articulation actually. But yeah, heads on a simple ball joint. Can look up about that far. Look down about that far. Again, the uh, two hair pieces here on a ball point. Ball point? Ball joint. <laughs> so uh, they do move out of the way. And also these back hair pieces also move up and down. So the hair doesn't get in the way of the movement at all. I mean, it can still look far. Pretty up pretty far. <laughs> and down pretty far as well. So yeah, that's good. Do have a butterfly joint on the body. Looks good. And rotation at the arm. Moves out about that much. Rotation here. Double joint at the elbow. Adjustable peg at the wrist. And a ball joint here, which goes forwards about that much. Back about that much. And a lower ball joint, which altogether goes forwards that much. And back that much. But yeah, also swivels. Leg kicks up. And out. Um, it's a little bit wobbly though. Um, this is actually brand new for SH Figure Arts. Um, 
It's different to what they usually do with the Goku legs. It kind of resembles the, um, oh, what's that figure? The, uh, that really big Goku figure that was released recently that nobody liked. Uh, it kind of looks like that. But yeah, swivels here as well. Double joint at the knee, which is very stiff on mine. And also a new uh, adjustable peg piece on the ankles. Uh, it's not the typical ball joint you get. It's a proper joint now. So that's great. You get ankle pivot and up and down movement and a toe bend. So overall, I like the articulation of this figure. And uh, oh wait, I missed the uh, tail. Uh, it's on a, yeah, also rotates, swivels, so it's pretty good. Uh, no, nothing at the actual tail though, just at the upper ass part. Uh, but yeah, overall, I like the articulation on this figure. I don't have any issues apart from a couple of the loose joints, which I can easily fix. But yeah. Now onto the accessories. Uh, he does come with a pair of fists out of the box. And may as well go over the hands first. A pair of martial arts hands, which are all brand new sculpts as it does have the red fur on the uh, hand as well, and I believe the hands are a little bit bigger to, uh, compared to a regular Goku's. But yeah, got the sort of open palm hands, two instant transmission hands, even though he should only have one, as he only ever uses one hand to use, to uh, do that, um, so grab your hands, and then two of these sort of energy Kamehameha um, hands, which has the peg on the hand, which is also something we've never seen before, I believe. Ah, uh, but yeah, the other one is attached to the brand new, um, yeah, energy ball charging effect, which is a brand new sculpt, I'm uh, pretty sure I just said that. Um, but yeah, it's very similar to the previous ones we got, but this time it's in the sort of purplish red. And I'm glad to say that the, uh, energy sh sort of shining effect thingy that's coming off the ball is very easy to peg in this time. Um, I had a lot of issues trying to peg these things in in the past with the previous ones like the Ultra Instinct um, yeah, effect. You really have to like force those into the ball. But yeah, luckily this one was pretty easy to assemble, so that's good. And yeah, the hand just sort of pegs into this extra hole here, so that's cool. Uh, now to the faces. Let's come with a default face out of the box. Teeth grid face. Which looks pretty good. And then a yelling face. And then my favourite face, the smiling face. I'm very happy it came with a smiling face. So yeah. Change out the faces. You just need to take off the front hair piece like that. Take the face out. It pretty much works like any other SH figure, it's Goku figure. Peg that in, and put the hairpiece back on, and there we go. So uh, now to go for some size comparisons. Um, I don't have a lot of Dragon Ball figures to compare them with anymore because I sold off my, well, most of my collection. But here's a custom Super Saiyan 4, not Super Saiyan 4, it's custom Super Saiyan God Goku. Uh, which is just the same Rays on Earth Goku, um, just painted red. But yeah, he's a bit taller than the uh, regular Goku, which is good, because I do believe Super Saiyan 4 Goku does grow in size when he uh, goes into Super Saiyan 4. But yeah. And I don't have the figureized Goku anymore, but uh, yeah, I, I can say with confidence that this SH Figots is much better. Um, as in proportions and also the hair is also very nicely sculpted. But yeah, anyway, that does it with this video now. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. And uh, if you like this video, thanks and till next time, bye bye.